a whole different take on exorcism films. Uh, uh, oh. Release the demon. <coughs> What's up guys, it's night 25 of this spooky movie extravaganza. I'm Rick and today's movie is a possession movie. I have not brought you guys one of these movies I don't think. So I thought it would be fun to revisit one of my favorite possession movies. This one came out in 2005. It is The Exorcism of Emily Rose. You know, if you really think about it, this is two movies, but I'll get into that in a second. The movie stars Laura Linney as Erin. She plays a lawyer who was hired to protect Father Roger Moore, Richard Moore, Roger Moore. Uh, she's hired to protect Father Richard Moore because he performed an exorcism on this girl named Emily Rose, played by Jennifer Carpenter from White Chicks fame, and the girl dies. The film starts with them getting ready for his trial and the whole experience of Emily's possession is told through expert and witness accounts. Erin considers herself to be an atheist, but as soon as she takes the case, weird shit starts happening to her. She wakes up like at 3 a.m. You know, there's tapes that are playing like by themselves in her apartment even though she lives alone. I like this movie because whether or not you believe in demons, it's kind of like... It presents both sides to you and I also like it because if you do, like me, I was raised Catholic. I'm a Latino, I'm Mexican. Catholicism is a huge part of our lives, but of course being older and just having a different mindset and just kind of like seeing things from every point of view, I don't not believe in the demons, but I also do believe in the demons. So I think that this is a good one where it's like, they tell you the story of what someone saw as far as the possession, but then they bring in an expert to explain how that could have just been some neurological or mental stuff that was going on. It's told in an interesting way and it just kind of gets under your skin. You really start feeling bad for this girl because you rarely see her unless she's suffering and it's really intense, but at the end of the day, I think this is really interesting. It's not your typical horror movie because of the way that it is being told in a court setting and I really think you should look up the story about what really happened here and make up your own mind. Um, I am still scared of being possessed of the demons because we don't really have a choice. Who knows why they pick us? This girl seemed like a nice girl and now, you know, she's dead. So, I mean, now I'm talking about the girl in the movie, not the girl in real life. R.I.P. to the girl in real life. Um, if you've seen this movie, let me know if you haven't. Please check it out. Um, I had to rent it, but I think it was worth the three bucks. Otherwise, like, follow, and share. Please thank my studio audience. <laughs>